Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Pastor Lee. Good morning, good morning, Glory. This is Pastor Lee of the Guiding Star Baptist Church. I'm filling in today uh, by direct divine order and order of my law, uh, of my wife, who uh, is not feeling well. But uh, we are here today to share with you. We're very grateful to be able to come and share with you on this morning uh, to encourage encourage you. Uh, my wife not able to make it. She's under the weather, but uh, we are good. And we are very thankful for, again, a privilege to come to you on this Tuesday morning, uh, day of election. I'm sure all of you across the, the country are already at the polls or on the way to the polls. If you haven't voted, please go vote. It is your right, uh, and I think that you ought to have a voice to say. Let me just share my appreciation to you for sharing with my wife and being a blessing to my wife and her ministry as God is continuing to open some uh, doors of, uh, to many lives of those who've been watching, and we praise God for that. I want to be able to share with you a few thoughts. Um, I want to kind of do a fill-in. won't be able to you long, but I want to do a fill-in, some impactful words. Hopefully, it would be helpful for you in your journey for this week and for today. On this Good Morning Glory, dial in to somebody, contact somebody, let somebody know that we are on. Uh, the Good Morning Glory is on. I am filling in for my wife, and we are very thankful again to uh, share with you. Uh, let's pray. Father God, we God, we thank you for, again, this privilege to be coming before your people and those who are listening and watching across this country. We pray your blessings upon them, God, as we continue to go forth in your name. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, our God and our Redeemer, this is our prayer we pray in Jesus' name, and we all say amen. I want to look at a few thoughts that we can share with you this morning that hopefully that be helpful and impactful. Uh, again, uh, if you can share this with somebody else, maybe someone else may be listening. Uh, I got a message. Somebody said, good morning, Pastor. Good morning to you and to all the members of the Guiding Star family. And for those who are also listening, we thank God for your blessings and sharing. I want, to, I want you to write this down if you can. Make a note of this lesson entitled Praise for God. Praise for God. This is the title of this lesson. I'm going to give you a couple of thoughts to look at, scriptures to look at, to refer to, that you can refer to throughout the day, but it's entitled Praise for God. Look, as, look with me in your Bibles, if you have your Bibles with you, Psalms 107, Psalms 107, uh, verse 8, Psalms 107, particularly uh, verse 8, Psalms 107 and verse 8. Um, if you would take the time and look for those area. Uh, there are something I want to share with you in Psalm 107, uh, the Psalms of David as he writes the Psalms as he repeat these uh, calls to praise uh, to praise God. That's important. Uh, look at verse, particular verse eight, Psalms 107, verse eight. This is what it says: "Oh, that man would praise the Lord for His goodness and for His wonderful works." To the children of men. Read that again. Oh that man would praise the Lord. For his goodness. And for his wonderful work. To the children of men. Four times in Psalms 107. We read the same things. Here they are. Verse 8. Verse 15. Verse 21. And verse 31. Again. Verse 8. Verse 15, verse 21, and verse 31. The Psalms repeat the call to praise God. I think it's any time that we ought to be praising God. There ought to be times like these. Every time you wake up, ought to be a praise on your heart, in your mind, in your soul, in your daily journey, on your way to work. Everything you do, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Here's a couple of things I'd like for you to look at. First thing I like you look at exaltation to praise, exaltation to praise. Oh, that man would praise the Lord. Men are too busy praising themselves, but I think it's time for us now to give honor and glory to God. That number one, in exaltation to praise. A couple of notes to write down, if you will. Psalms 107, verse 8, verse 15, verse 21, verse 31, all talks about praising God. We ought to praise God every day, every hour, every second of our life. So the first thing of your notes, exaltation, exalting the Lord. Oh, that man would praise the Lord. 
Again, I said men are too busy praising themselves. They often do it, do it often and do not praise God. In this land that we live in, in this country that we live in, we ought to give God praise in everything we do without failure. Second point that I wanted to bring out of 107 is a part of encouragement for praise. En encouragement for praise. His goodness and his wonderful work. Encouragement for praise. Talked about number one, exaltation for praise. Number two, encouragement for praise. His goodness and his wonderful work. There are plenty of reasons. There are plenty of reasons in all of us. If you look back over your life and the lives of that which you are surrounded by, all of us have a good reason to give God some praise. I don't think we thank God enough. I don't think we go to the praising of God enough. I believe that we ask God for a whole lot. We ask God for more than we thank God for. Uh, I think we ought to reverse this. I really believe that within my heart that we ought to reverse it and not always ask God for everything, but learn how to thank God for everything. And all, and all that, everything you do, thank God, giving God praise, giving God honor, thanking God for the good, the bad, and the different. Amen. Learn how to go through life. Today, I just want to thank God all day long. Tomorrow, I'm going to start tomorrow off thanking God. And then when you get through Thursday, start all over thanking God. Friday, start all over thanking God. And then when you get to Sunday, you can see what the, day, what, what the Psalms says. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. So the first one is what? Exaltation to praise. The second one is encouragement to praise. And then there ought to be a ground of goodness. Speak of God's great character. You ought to be talking about God's character. You ought to be talking about what God has, who God is, who, who he is to you and what he's done for you and talk about his, his blessing that he have shared with on you. Then you ought to talk about his wonderful works. Every time you wake up and the sun is shining or if the rain is falling, that's the hands of God. There's one thing I share is about nature. Nature tells you a whole lot about God. If you look at nature, my pastor years ago, who's going home to be with the Lord, the Reverend C. B. Bailey, the late Reverend C. B. Bailey, uh, who pastored the Salem Baptist Church here in Kansas City, Kansas, been gone probably about six or seven, maybe ten years now. When we look here as younger ministers in the Lord, he shared with us something about nature, and nature is very important. And I talk about four four seasons. There are a season of spring, there's a season of uh, summer, season of fall, and a season of winter. Spring is when everything's beautiful, everything's fresh. That's the spring. Many of you are going, and many people are going through the spring. Many children are going through the spring now, and we enjoy them. We love them. We love on them. Then we go into our summer. Summer is when you have now become a grown person, grown up, to a point where you can take care of yourself. You got your own job. You know what you have, some goals in life. You're going here and you're going there. You're running up the steps. You're running down the steps. You run, you jump in the car, you jump out of the car. You're just busy, 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 busy. And that sometimes is good, but sometimes it can also wear on you. But yet then fall come. Fall come, and you know when fall come. Oh, yeah. Everybody know when fall come. When fall come, that's the steps you used to run up when, in your summers. You're now holding the rail going up and holding the rails coming down. The car used to run and jump in and jump out because you're so busy. Fall will make a change in your life where now you find yourself scooting in the car, taking your time getting in the car. Those are the falls of your life. Then you have winter when things begin to fall, when things begin to change. But brother and sister, the one thing about God, God always coming back around again and repeat himself all over and over, and over again. Spring comes after winter. And I think everybody who now, born again believers, all to celebrate the spring of your Christian life, knowing that God has given you a new start, a new beginning. And, and that's the reason why you ought to praise God. Every time you wake up, it doesn't matter if you've been saved five years, ten years, one day, one hour, wherever it is, you ought to praise God for a spring of your life. Let every day that you live be a day of spring, a day of celebration, a day of rejoicing. Don't ponder on yesterday's don't ponder on where you haven't been because all of us have been a place that we have never been before. But yet, I know a place that we all desire to want to go. And that is to be, with, be in the promises in the hands of the Lord. So, so thank God for his wonderful works. 
and then also be also celebrate an effective of prayers or praise. Be effective in your praise. Be effective in your celebration and your praise, which means go share, go 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 bless, go praise God. God praise God needed uh, to be done publicly, not just in your private quarters, but when you go to church, don't be a bump on the law. Learn how to celebrate. Learn how to be thankful. Learn how to be grateful. And let your effect of a praise not only be within your quarters, but also let someone know that you are a redeemed believer. You know, you don't have to fall on the floor, foam with the mouth, do cartwheels and all these strange stuff that I see some people do. But don't let anything hinder you from being a praise, a praise soldier, a mm -hmm. praise warrior. Let your praise be known. And if someone sitting next to you on Sunday morning that's not praising God, you shout hallelujah. You know how to shout hallelujah. Why? Because nobody knows your story like you know your own story. And when you know that you know that you know that the Lord have done great for you, you ought to celebrate the Lord with us and celebrate the Lord with us that we may let people know. The Bible said, let the redeem of the Lord say so. So I, I, I message today is to praise the praise for God. God deserve our our praise. God deserve praise from us. God deserve to be lifted. God deserve to be honored. God deserve to be exalted. So again, Psalms 107, verse 8. Psalms 107, verse 8. Key verses. There are four. Repeat. Verse, verse 8, verse 15, verse 21, and verse 31. All speaks about praise for our God. May God bless you. Again, I thank God for you. Pray for my wife. She's coming around. I'm treating her so well. She's so happy. And she's going to be doing cartwheels by tomorrow. I got I got a remedy, an old remedy we're going to give her. No, we ain't going to give her no hot toddy. No, but we're going to make sure she's well. And we thank you for your prayers. You keep praying. Keep pushing. We love you all. May God bless you. And may God keep you. This is Pastor Lee of the Guiding Star Baptist Church. And good morning to you. Good morning, glory. And may the blessing of God be with you. See you later. Bye-bye.